Good morning guys, Sean Evans here at Thought Park Resort as we are going behind the scenes of the brand new Stitches Maze which is brand new for 2023 and with Adventure Times. We've, we're a little bit late so we're going to go in, get our lanyards, jump straight in and check out one of the best Merlin scare mazes that I've seen for a long, long time. So this time around the VIP badge is in a plastic housing. It feels a bit more premium. I like it. We've got another Thorpe VIP badge there. <laughs> another one. But I like that. Nice little upgrade. Nice little card too. Look at Hyperius construction. That isn't even the main element and it makes the solar ride look tiny. Tiny! I also just realised what the smell pod was in there. It's Creek Freak Massacres. It's the blood smell. Oh, okay. Yeah. Aroma Prague. Also, whilst I'm here, I'm also repping the Museum of Horrors t-shirt. We're selling out though, so if you want to come in October, message the Facebook page and get those tickets quick. We are selling out. Can't believe I'm saying that. We are Little Stoke on Trent Attraction. We are selling out in October. So this is the first VIP tour that Thorpe have done. Now the park has actually been open that we've done anyways. So that's a definitely a, a different vibe because normally you're coming down and it's abandoned and it's empty and it's eerie. But uh, no, it's a busy day today. Kids are off school, so imagine the queues to be quite substantial. Instead of a talk in the cinema, we're heading straight towards Stitches. I mean, I'm not complaining, although I don't know how long the tour is. I don't know what, what the kind of vibe of the tour is going to be. I'm just excited. Right, so the, obviously the maze is close to the public. The scare maze is sold out today as well. There's a sign saying it's sold out, which is mad. All scare maze tickets are fully booked for today. That is mental. And we're going straight in to the Stitches scare maze. Straight in. Don't know how much filming we can do inside. Uh, I'll try with live photos and just like the other VIP tours, but uh, get as much footage as I can before, before we go in. Come on in. <laughs> well, hello, come on in. So we've got all the other side of stitches and some photo opportunities with someone you might recognize right there. Um, this is nods to old friend nice attraction. Um, but yes, this is around these lovely corridors, smashing his That's Let's drive lighting is really high business. Uh, take an exit at the back. Let's go to Beatrice. All the way around. Sure. Yes, the coffee. Stuffed her to pieces. And then we come back in. We get a signed poster and we get one priority pass to go through the maze. I really enjoyed that, you know. Really I, that I liked great. how she stayed in character to take us around the whole time. The whole time. Yeah. yeah. That's probably the best VIP tour we've done. We've done. Yeah. The fact that they took us around like the active corridors and everything is cool. Yeah. Behind the scenes. Yeah. Left nothing. Left nothing out. Not even a light bulb was missed out. <laughs> right, time to cash in this priority pass, but the mazes are sold out, so even that's still a little bit of a wait. Just a little bit, a little bit. Oh, this is the 
Music's on, ready to go. That was so dark in there compared to the last time I did it. So dark, we got lost. We did. We've done the tour and we still got lost. Yes. We've been in that maze for nearly two hours this morning and we still got lost. It was intense, it was claustrophobic, actors, spooky. Yeah. Had everything. That's still my favorite. <laughs> but just turn the lights up a little bit. <laughs> just, a, just a little yeah. bit. I think we walked into three walls. Yes. It, it's it's an actor's corridor. They said this morning that that is Thorpe's most complicated maze. And you can see why with all the, the background, behind the scenes things that we showed you earlier, all the actor corridors, how it interlinks with all the other rooms, how each actor can go from one room to another so you can see the same characters again. It's good. You got the immersive point. The only thing with this run through is that there was no bungee jump and they made a point of it this morning that they didn't want to have spaces empty when you walk past them and for some reason that first space was completely empty no bungee actor no bungee actor at all no there wasn't i was disappointed no. by that yeah it's a shame because that's one of the most like um, iconic effects of the maze in terms of a jump scare but um very strange how it just opened on a very very busy day and there was no bungee which is probably a highlight for that maze Yes, I agree. But to be fair, it was still one of the best things I've done in a long time. Yes. I screamed so much in there about a headache. Yes. Which says a lot. I had that tension at the back of my neck that I rarely, I only get it in good mazes where I'm, I'm kind of like on high alert and I'm just like, are they from this way? Are they from that way? And obviously we've seen where the actors pop out and everything, but still <laughs> there's little things that they come out on the floor. There's little corridors that they crawl through so the actors can crawl through into different rooms and jump scare you from different parts. There's obviously a big teddy bear scene. All the teddies are coated in some sort of, um, what was it, fire resistant yes. spray. Yes. So obviously all the teddies are in there just in case there is a fire and they won't catch fire. So it's a health and safety thing. So that's a little something I learned today. And yeah, Stitchy Thought Park. That's impressive. Right, so I hope I managed to get you enough footage from Howl's Toy Emporium, the tour of Stitchy's Maze. I thought it was in depth. I love the actor led through experience. I love how it's so noisy around here. I love the attention to detail. I love the fact that the actor stayed in character from start to finish. It's very in-depth, love the actor corridors, love this maze, I love the rooms, I love the attention to detail. Thought Park have gone above and beyond with stitches and that gives me positivity for future mazes under Merlin control here at Thought Park Resort. Island like no other, Stitches Maze, loved it. An absolute incredible addition to Fright Nights. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, smash a comment below. Is this your favourite maze at Thought Park? And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!